Welcome to Rebel Life Boxing, where I talk boxing and anything in between. Make sure to catch new videos daily at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5 p.m. Also, catch an early bird video weekdays at 6 a.m. Support the channel, and thanks for watching. So, Eddie Hearn says that uh, Javante Tank Davis, he'll never really be great um, unless, you know, he, you know, because he's going to be matched with in-house fighters, which Floyd already stated he's going to stick, you know, keep Tank fighting PBC fighters. And, you know, it's good for, I guess, Floyd Mayweather. See, you know, a lot of people feel two different ways about all of this, man. I mean, on one hand, you see Tank, good, excellent fighter. I think he's an elite fighter. But he's going to be limited in his abilities or his competition because Floyd is keeping him in-house for the obvious reasons, for monetary reasons, for their personal gain. And that's kind of selfish, man. You know, there's this thing where they say Floyd's moving Tank the way he was moved. That's not true. That's not how Tank was moved. Uh, when Flo That's not how Floyd was moved early on, man. He wasn't. Um, Floyd, Floyd, you know... I haven't even said that Tank's resume doesn't have many black fighters. I'm trying to figure out how many black fighters Tank has faced. I was I was meaning to get to making a video about that, man. I'm going to have to touch on that maybe tomorrow. And I'm going to run through his resume, and I'm going to see. I'm going to see, okay, who is, who out of this 26, what was he at, 25 and no now? Okay, so let's, let's run through all those 25 fighters. How many of them are black? If none of these dudes are black, then that's not the way Tank, that's not the way Floyd was moved. Because Floyd fought black fighters early on in his career. Chop Chop Curly, um, uh, Manuel Augustus. He fought a lot of dudes that was black. So how was he, you know, people when they say he was moving, Floyd is moving Tank the way he was moved. Which, that's false. That's that's absolutely false. Okay, so it's pretty clear. Leonard Ellaby and Floyd Mayweather are using Tank. As a money machine, it's like that. He's just using him as a money grab, man. He's already what 25 years old. He's still young. He's not quite in his he's not in his prime yet. So you gotta ask yourself, man. When are they gonna let his hand go a little bit? When are they gonna, you know, let the let the chain loose a little bit, man? You know what I mean? Okay. He he fights all the PBC dudes. Okay, then what next? Do all the PBC dudes have bells? Do all of them have star power? So this is what I think Eddie Hearn is saying. They, they're gonna limit. They're, they're gonna limit Tank's ability to. He can be a bigger star than what he is if they will let the chain loose a little bit. But they're afraid for some reason. I've I've said this. I've said this over and over again. I said they're afraid for whatever reason it is. They see Tank is a, he got skills, but I think. They're moving them like that because they see some limits in Tank, bro. I think that's what it is. It got to be, man. Because I think the minute they like, all right, let Tank. You saw a little bit of nervousness even in the Barrios fight with with um, with um Floyd. He was like, yo, Tank, come on, man. You got to do something, man. You got to do something. You, you down. Whatever you're saying. And I'm like, yo, y'all the ones that picked and groomed Mar uh, Mario Barrios for Tank. So y'all shouldn't have no issues. You know what I mean? Um, I think in a way, man, this is bad. This this could be a bad thing for Tank later on. But for, on the surface right now, it would look like um, he's on top of the world. But, I mean, bro, why why can't he go for undisputed, man? I mean, that's something, that's something Floyd Mayweather never did. Instead of bouncing him around on the chessboard, play, plant his feet somewhere. Let him... Let him let him knock these dudes off. If you feel that he's the best, let him knock these dudes off and let's find out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you move him to 140, then LB comes out and say, he's not campaigning at 140. Okay, so then why the fuck did you have him up there then? And now they're going to move him back down to 135. That's going to fucking damage his body, all of this moving 135, 140, 135, bouncing him all around. They're going to drain him. It's going to fuck his body up, man. You know what I mean? Some, well, he he can make the weight. You know, he has the body for it. Man, listen, he's going to get older, man. And, you know, he's going to be Floyd. Man, he's going to be Floyd's. He's going to be Floyd's little slave, bro. He's going to have to. 
later on, I think he's going to start realizing that shit. I don't know if Tank even really, he probably feel like that now, man. If you look at a lot of interviews with Tank and Floyd, Tank just look real uncomfortable, bro. He just look real like, uh, I don't want to be here, or he just feels stuck, man. Something about the energy between them sometimes be a little off, man. You know, and it's pretty clear that's what it is. They know, they know Tank is the biggest cash cow for them right now, or potentially. So they're going to milk Tank, man. He only worth four million, and you motherfuckers got hundreds of millions of dollars. Come on, man, stop, man. Something ain't wrong. Something wrong with this picture, man. As far as I'm concerned, you know the Floyd lovers, man, the Floyd fanboys, they're gonna they're gonna think everything that they that he's doing for Tank is for Tank, and it's not for Tank, bro. Yeah, hey, we're moving him like this, like that. Yo, he's 25 and old, man. He should have been already fighting for a, a a real championship belt in his. In his class, his weight class that he was in, he fought, okay, he fought at 130, got a real belt down there. You know, a lot of people would debate what's a real and what's a fake belt. A lot of people say the regular belt is the real belt. The super was created for other reasons, but the regular is the real belt. However you want to look at it, he's not planting his feet, bro. Okay, you at 130, conquer, try to conquer 130. Okay, use that 135, try to conquer 135 and then move to 140. I like seeing what boxers do that. Like how Terrence Crawford, um, I don't think he was ever undisputed at 135, but he undisputed at 140, moved up to 147. And he trying to be undisputed at 147. And the only way that Terrence Crawford is going to do that at that division is if he uh, fights Errol Spence. And that's only if Errol Spence gets the belt, uh, uh, beats... Uh, then again, I'm wrong because I think they said Ugas is still going to be the regular champ, I think, or the soup. I got to go back and check, man. It's this whole WBA shit is real screwy right now because I'm like, all right, now they somebody not elevating uh, Pacquiao and all that. I don't want to get too much into that right now. I'm getting a little off topic. But, you know, this shit ties in, man. A lot of this shit ties in with each other. One way or another, it does, you know, and I like Tank, um, but I just want to see him fight somebody of uh, significance, man. I want to see him with the Ryan Garcias. I want to see him with the, um, you know, um, Tiafimo Lopez, the Devin Haney's. Um, shit, I don't even, even want to see him fight Richard Comey. I want to see him fight Comey. Um, people like that, man. I want to see him fight these, you know, these, these, um, these dudes that had belts or was real champions and they was, Defending they shit You know I want to see people I want to see him fight people like that But uh, T.O. is a whole nother story I'll talk about his ass later on But Let me know what y'all think man You know um, Is Eddie Hearn right About Tank Davis Will never Live up to his full potential As long as Floyd wants to keep him Fighting in house fighters Let me know what you think man Drop a comment Support the channel Like and subscribe I will see you guys later And I'm off this